Hey guys, what's cracking? It is Crack Nation. I'm coming at you guys today to talk about Grapplelock. Grapplelock has been one of the more hotly requested Pokemon on my channel to take a look at. Today we're going to be taking a look at what you can do to run it as a part of a competitively viable team. Sets you can run for, team options, things to look out for, and the like. Uh, so before we get into this video, guys, thank you so much for all the support we've been seeing recently on this channel. But absolutely unreal. We are well on our way to 4,000 subscribers, which is absolutely unbelievable considering two weeks ago I was just chilling at 200. Just cannot even fathom that. Uh, thank you guys so much, and without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon. So, looking at your stats in general, what's going to stand out to you is that great attacks at 118 is a pretty solid attack stat. You're going to be able to hit things pretty hard. Uh, mediocre bulk, average to maybe even below average special defensive bulk. Um, 80 HP, uh, 90 defense is going to be good for taking some physical attacks for sure, but 80 special defense, I mean, just in general, you, uh, really on either side, your bulk's not going to be too terrific. It's not going to be awful, but not great. Uh, 70 special attack is I guess usable in a pinch. It's got a good special move pool So you could run something like hydro pump if you really needed to but I don't think you're gonna want to in general And finally your speed stat is 42. So that's pretty abysmal. That's just pretty awful um, I guess you could think about trick room support But you could th really the thing I want you guys to think about with trick room support is that you could theoretically Think about trick room support on any hard-hitting slow Pokemon and a lot of hard-hitting slow Pokemon aren't competitively that good So I think grab block is unfortunately gonna fall into that bucket but Let's take a look at what you can do to try to make it a part of your team if you would like to do so so normal moves uh, i think circle throws a pretty cool one with the ability of technician technician gives all base powers all moves of the base power below 60 a 50 percent boost so for example circle throw at 60 base power would become a 90 base power move that forces your opponent to switch out into a random pokemon so circle throws i think maybe this thing one of this thing's more viable options really good move on this thing for sure it's got bulk up it's got close combat drain punch brick break superpower it's got a lot of really decent fighting moves that you could potentially run if you were considering it so it's got a very diverse fighting move pool that can fit your needs on your grapple lock uh, it's also got access to a couple other physical coverage moves ice punch is cool liquidation is a good move as well uh brutal swing is interesting because it gets that boost from your technician so in doubles brutal swing could be a very good move to run on this thing for sure uh, stomping tantrum is an option if you wanted a ground move for example it gets sucker punch so it gets some priority uh payback is an option although i wouldn't really want to run payback because you probably won't be getting technician boost because you're so slow reversal is another option as well um not a great one it also gets taunt i don't think you would, would run a, would want to run taunt on a pokemon like this but i just figured i'd throw that in there if you were considering it the first set I've got here is a Choice Banded set. Now, unfortunately for Grapplock, it has a really hard time taking full advantage of Technician with its best four moves. Very often, Circle Throw or maybe Brutal Swing will be your only moves that you can really viably run and get Technician boosts off of. So very often, we're not even going to be able to make use of that fantastic Technician ability, and we're going to just be forced to run Limber. For example, on this set, with the four moves, you're definitely going to want to run Close Combat and Sucker Punch. I think those are two really, really just kind of given moves. Ice Punch is also a really good move to run. Let's you hit those flying types that might try to switch into you, for example. It just gives you great coverage. Finally, the last spot, Drain Punch and Liquidation are two moves you might really want to consider. Uh, Circle Throw obviously being the only move that can get supported by um, by Technician. So if you weren't running Circle Throw, definitely run Tech Limber on this set instead. We're going to run 252 HP, 252 attack, and an Atom Nature. Maximize your bulk. If you're thinking this thing's definitely going to be able to take a hit or two thanks to its great bulk once you invest in it. Uh, otherwise, pretty average bulk becomes pretty self respectable once you invest heavily. Uh, finally, Adam and Nature, obviously just to hit as hard as possible. Th I think this is going to be your go-to set. Psycho Punch is going to be useful for hitting those things that are a lot faster than you and maybe revenge killing some stuff. Uh, in general, Close Combat will allow you to hit like a truck. This thing will hit really hard with a banded Close Combat. Don't get me wrong, banded Close Combat is going to hit really, really hard. So that's going to be what this set is best for. The next set I have here is a bulk up set. I think this set has actually got a chance to be pretty competitively viable. We're going to run item leftovers just to maximize your recovery. Limber ability because we aren't going to be making use of anything as far as uh, like any kind of technician set. Uh, limber is so I think is going to be your best option to just avoid paralysis. 252 HP, 252 special defense, and a careful nature will maximize our special defense and then our bulk as well. We're going to use bulk up to boost up our offense to the threatening levels as well as our physical defense. So I think this set has a chance to just get pretty bulky, hit pretty hard, do some damage in the mid game. Uh, Drain Punch is going to be your best fighting move of choice. It won't lower your stats and it also will give you more recovery. So I think Drain Punch will absolutely be your go to physical move. Uh, Psychic Punch is good as a priority move, lets you outspeed some random things, hit Psychic types that you need to hit, hit Ghost types that you need to hit. Uh, obviously, Psychic Punch is pretty unreliable because it, there's always the chance that it fails, so that's something you're going to have to keep in mind. I think something that Grapplock would really hate is if like a Ghost type comes in, you click Sucker Punch, and it clicks Will-O-Wisp, so your Sucker Punch fails, you get burned, and you feel really bad. Um, 
Finally, the last move, we've got Ice Punch. I think Ice Punch is a pretty good move. Just gives you some coverage for ice for flying types, for example. Uh, lets you hit a lot of different type Pokemon, like Dragon types, pretty hard. I also think Circle Throw, again, is an option here. If you were, were running Circle Throw, you would want to heavily consider running Technician. Uh, I guess there's other options, maybe like Brutal Swing or something. Uh, there's Liquidation is another option you could run in that spot if you wanted. But I think in general, Ice Punch will probably be your best bet. Pros and cons of Grapplock, you've got good offensive power thanks to that great attack stat. You've got very diverse move options for your fighting move. Like we talked about, Close Combat and Circle Throw are probably your two best ones. But you've also got Drain Punch, which is, just, which is generally a really good move. You've got things like Reversal, which is a niche move you can definitely consider. Super Power, Brick Break, a lot of good options to consider uh, for your fighting move. It's got good abilities in Limber and Technician, things it can make use of, uh, hopefully a little bit. And then Bulk Up is a very useful move in general for a Pokemon like this that is a little slower, a little bulkier. Um, but also can hit hard. Finally, there are some cons as well though. It, it's very slow. So that's gonna be pretty hard to take advantage of. Obviously, like I said earlier, you could run Trick Room, but Trick Room is something you could run on a lot of Pokemon. And I am a firm believer, my advice to you guys trying to get into competitive Pokemon and thinking about, wow, is Trick Room really good? My advice about Trick Room is that Trick Room, because it's only ever around for five turns, it's never going to be quite as good as you think it is, especially if you are only using it on Pokemon that can't set up the Trick Room itself. So Graplock does not get Trick Room, but if we look at something like Slow King or something, for example, Slow King can set up its own Trick Room and then utilize that Trick Room. Graplock cannot set up the Trick Room, so the turns that you spend switching are going to waste those very few five precious turns of Trick Room that you have. Now on a doubles team, I think Graplock might be a little more viable with a Trick Room partner. But just in general, I think you're gonna have a tough time utilizing Trick Room on Grapplock, so I wouldn't bank on it. You've got Mediocre Bulk, definitely average. If you invest in it, it's gonna be pretty above average, but just overall, if you don't get the chance to invest much into it, it's got ah, bulk, so you're gonna be overwhelmed by a lot of wall breakers, I find. Can't make use of Technician, which is really unfortunate. Technician is an incredibly viable move. We've seen Pokemon like Scissor uh, use it so well, Hitmontop use it so well. And so the fact that you can't use Technician is going to very effectively is going to be really kind of a bummer. Finally, it's got a really good special move pool. Um, as far as like, it gets like Hydro Pump and like Octazooka and I don't know, like I think it gets Ice Beam, maybe not. But it's got, the point being, it's got a very decent, diverse Focus Blast, things like that. It's a good special move pool and just literally no stat really to make use of it. So And the fact that you have to invest so heavily, like that special move pool is just such a kind of a waste on this thing. So unfortunately, you got a pretty unusable special move pool. Looking at some team options, I think Dark types and Steel types will be very good for you as partners. Uh, these Pokemon can both take on the bulky Psychics that Graplock is going to really, really struggle with very effectively. So I think Dark types also can take on Ghost types, and that's going to be both really advantageous for Graplock. Those Dark types will be really good partners for you. Uh, steel types, again, like I said, they can take on bulky Psychics, and this time Steel types can take on Flying types for you. Uh, that's going to be very useful. So I think you will definitely want to pair Graplock with a Dark type and a Steel type on any team you want to use it on. Screen setters are, will be helpful if you're using the bulk up set. I think giving it a chance to set up a couple of those bulk ups for free behind the set will help it a lot. Big threats, like I talked about, bulky psychics will resist those fighting moves very comfortably and probably not hit you really hard with a psychic. Uh, wall breakers in general will be a big problem for you because wall breakers could overwhelm your average middling bulk and then kind of just power through, especially on the special attack side. Flying types will be another big problem for you. Uh, flying types will usually be faster than you and hit you really hard and resist your fighting moves. Finally, ghost types, furthermore, are immune to your fighting moves, so you're gonna have to really struggle with those. You're gonna have to bank on Sucker Punch, and that's obviously never something you want to bank on. Let me know what you guys think about Graplock. Let me know what you thought about this video. If, you want, if you're if you excited to use Graplock, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any sets you want to suggest, or anything you disagree or agree with me on, make sure to let me know down below. Request Pokemon you want to see. We're kind of getting through most of the Generation 8 Pokemon, so I'm thinking I'm gonna continue on my team building university videos, as well as probably do some analyses on Pokemon that really change changed in the uh, post gen 7 world like these, these previous generation Pokemon that really got changed uh, maybe buffed competitively we're gonna take a look at those uh, but until next time I will see you guys later Kraken Nation out